another edition of the Business and Personal Podcast, where we bring you closer to people that you do business with. And uh, we've been highlighting a lot of educational institutions lately. And uh, we have another one here, uh, Realms of Inquiry. And we're joined by Ashley Aldridge. He is the teacher and dean of students, jack of all trades there at the school and um, used to attend the school in his youth as well. So he's come back to uh, to kind of give back to the students that are there now. So we look forward to hearing his story and, and what the school can offer. So first of all, Ashley, uh, thanks for joining us on your uh, busy day out on the road. Yeah, thank you. I, I really appreciate the opportunity to talk about Realms and yeah, thanks for have, having me on. So this is the business and personal podcast, Ashley. So first of all, just let our viewers know a little bit more about you and what led you to uh, Realms of Inquiry. Yeah, um, I have a background in, well, I got a history degree from the University of Utah. Um, and then I got a teaching degree from uh, Utah State and I got a master's of education from Westminster and uh, I have a special education endorsement. So I've been doing education for, um, almost 20 years now and and most of that has been at realms of inquiry although i i did spend some time at a therapeutic boarding school as a learning specialist so that's kind of my background and going even further back you were a student at the school well, as well. student, yeah i i spent my senior year at realms of inquiry and and graduated from realms of inquiry so yeah. let's talk about the school now it's definitely unique i think there's a lot of parents that are looking for alternate education options right now seems like traditional schools kind of at a little bit of a crossroads. So um, what does Realms offer those that are looking for a unique experience? Yeah, I, Realms has been a uh, kind of an institution in Salt Lake for a long time. It's been around for more than 50 years. And the original idea of Realms of Inquiry, Inquiry. was that it was designed as a alternative school for bright students that were disengaged in, in regular school. So, um, you know, they had an idea like way back in the early eighties that, that, um, you know, if you got kids like more involved in, in, um, activities and experiential education, they didn't really even have a, have a idea about experiential education then, but it worked and it, and it worked for me and it's worked for a lot of other kids. Um, and it's just a different model, a different idea about education and, and, I, I think it's it's great. It worked great for me. But so, um, what did from your experience as a student now going over the educator side? What are some things from your time as a student that have helped you uh, on the other side of it? Yeah. So I when I when I went to um, realms of inquiry, I, I ended up there because I was an indifferent student at best. Um, I didn't wasn't doing well, and my parents were were looking for a you know, an alternative for me. And, you know, I, I enrolled at Realms of Inquiry and, and the first thing that, that we did was we went on this caving expedition and we, we crawled through caves and rappelled into caves and swam into some caves. And, you know, the, the whole year was just filled with, with experiences like that. And it culminated in a, in a trip down to Baja, California, where we took a sailboat out to some islands and, and dove with sea lions. And, and it was just, it, it was just a, incredible way to sort of wake me up and reinvigorate like sort of like a passion for life and learning and you know that reoriented me and, and I ended up you know going to a university which you know wasn't probably on the table when I when I before I went to realms <laughs> but yeah, yeah I mean, that's an amazing story that's what it's all about in terms of you know every student has huge potential it's just a matter of finding that right environment that's the right fit for them right yeah, that's that's exactly right. You know, I, I got I got, um, you know, after I taught at Realms for a while, I, I went I, I got really interested in, in learning and how people learn. And and um, I, I actually I went to another school and, and taught as, and worked as a learning specialist. And, and I spent a lot of time, you know, learning about how people learn. And and the one of the most interesting things to me is is that time and time again, I find that, you know, like so, so much of education or, or being successful in education revolves around motivation, right? And, you know, what, what motivates people, how we motivate people. And there's so many times, so many stories where you hear students like, well, they're, you know, once they decided to do something, 
you know, then it became easy, right? They And there, there's always an education, a difference between, well, you know, can't a student do something or, or won't a do, student do something? And if, if it, the can't is actually much easier to address, right? Like if I can't learn algebra, there's so many tools and technology and things that you can do to help. But if they won't learn algebra, that that's that's a really interesting piece and for me the things that came around was you know like how, how do we motivate people and like what motivates people to learn like what gives them that passion and that desire to to learn and and put effort into themselves and um realms of inquiry the things that they've been doing for 50 years you know like now the things that people know about learning, like how people learn, what motivates people to learn. Like, I feel like that, like knowledge is like catching up with things that Realms has been doing for a long, long time. And so. a, another thing too, that Realms has, that I think a lot of parents are looking for nowadays is the smaller class sizes too. Um, is that something that not only you benefited from, but you see uh, students today ben benefiting from as well? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, um, a lot of, a lot of that, again that motivation piece is about relationships and um if you have a relationship to the people that are teaching you um you're just likely to be way more successful i mean if you are um you know the model of realms is is you have a a, a math instructor that is really in like invested in you as a person and who is always available to you um and you've also had all these adventures with them so you have a personal relationship with them and it's really easy to believe you know and and to work with somebody where you have so many aspects to your relationship that that like it it just s small classrooms relationships best practices it, it all just goes together and and it really accelerates you know or makes more successful anything that you're trying to learn and as far as motivations and staying on task and whatnot, uh, the project-based learning is also a, a great way to um, push students to higher uh, levels of success. So have you seen that be beneficial as well? Yeah, the whole experiential education model is is based on, you know, this guy Dave Hahn and, and it's a in a cycle of like ideation and and doing things and project, but learning is always an active process, right? You have to you have to do something to learn something, whether that's an algebra problem or or you know, learning how to rock climb. You have it's an active process and you have to be doing. So if you are a passive learner and you're just sitting in a classroom and you're listening to somebody up there talking to you it's um it's much much easier to quantify that type of education so that's kind of the model we find ourselves stuck in it's like you know i i tell you stuff you write it down you review it and then you tell it back to me and and then you've learned something but i mean if you really look at you know what is learning and wh what the difference between understanding and learning is or have you really learned something or you know real learning is active and you have to be doing something so so project-based learning is not only more, uh, more, more. How, how would I say this? You know, the the difference between understanding something and learning something is is you know you have something that you could do your whole life and it keeps and it, it will have an effect on your future and it's not just something you sort of passed through and didn't really retain. So um, that that is a more authentic to the real world model where you have to be involved in projects and you're doing things and it's also like just uh, is reflective of, of how people actually learn so so for you know any of the potential uh, prospective parents that might still be listening at this point uh, they're probably very interested in the school and what it might be able to offer their child so you know what advice would you have for them and um, you know, what types of kids have you seen that have been the best fit for the school and had the most success? Yeah, it's really interesting. Um, you know, the like I said, the original idea for Realms was was it was for bright kids who were disengaged in school. But I, I think it's a model that that works for almost any kid that that is. I mean, the most successful Realm students are excited to be there and excited about, you know, the the adventurous part of the curriculum and the learn and the project part of the curriculum and the things that we do and i i would just say that you know if if 
if you have a, a bright kid who, you know, for some reason is bored or disengaged or, or, you know, there's should be really successful and, and learning well, but for some reason is not, I would definitely check out a different, different environment, different model of education and, and just look at different things. Cause the environment is, is really important to learning. Fantastic information, Ashley. Uh, school does sound amazing. And uh, all the contact info is on the screen here for uh, those of you who are listening and go over to the YouTube version and see it. Uh, get a hold of Realms of Inquiry and uh, maybe take a tour and see if it's the right fit for your child. But uh, Ashley, uh, thanks again so much. Any uh, parting thoughts for anybody that's still listening? Uh, no, I, I would just say, you know, that that I mean, we've described one model of education and there, there's many models and it's just really important to find the model that works best for the person. And, you know, I, I think a lot of people are trying to reimagine education in this environment where, you know, information is ubiquitous. It's really easy to to get information or to learn what you need to learn. And so really like what for me is important for students is to develop that that self-concept, that that motivation for learning. And to do that, you know, you got to have passion and excitement about what you're doing. And so, so find that place that works for you. Fantastic. That's good advice that serves people, you know, through the rest of their life, find that passion and just follow it for sure. But uh, again, Ashley, thanks for taking the time out and uh, hopefully we'll talk to you again down the road with maybe an update what's going on at the school. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thank you so much.